The slide rule is one of the coolest and perhaps most important technological instruments that people today have only the dimmest idea what it is. You know, for example, when you have a screw or something, you can put it in here and then move it and then you can like measure like uh, how big the head of the screw is. I'm dying to know what this sliding part is for. So do you know what this instrument is called? Absolutely no. It's supposed to be like a calculator, but I don't know how to use it. Right around the time MIT moves from Boston to Cambridge, the archetypal instrument, bar none, for the engineer is the slide rule. Trigonometry, uh, law of sines. No, this is crazy. Sine, radian, tangent, scales. You can do powers of E. This thing, this is what people, you know, went to the moon on. You can see those famous scenes in the movie Apollo 13 where they're all whipping out their slide rules. Well, that isn't for show, that's what they used. Are you serious? Wow, yeah, I think I've heard this. <laughs> I have in front of me, though, a large teaching rule, and this would have been in front of the classroom. On the far end are a series of letters. Those are called scales. This centerpiece slides back and forth, hence the name slide rule. The process of multiplication may be performed by using scales C and D. is not matching with eight. I'm still not seeing an eight, and I have like the one and the two lined up. This makes no sense. Could it be that someone actually took it out and flipped it? Set it to that, the second two. <laughs> oh, yes, I saw it. Oh, you are right, it does work. Does it work? No, it works. Yes, I did the opposite. I matched the four with the eight, and then the one matched with the two. It was another two. Yeah, it's a lot easier to just do two times four. The poor kids that had to learn this stuff. When did they stop using these? Not soon enough. <laughs> so what happens? Why do they go out of fashion in the mid-70s? Well, not surprising, the digital calculator and computer has a big impact on this. Would you ever want to replace your calculator with this? No. <laughs> this, this, is, this would be bad. I mean, it would be interesting to learn to use, but I feel like a calculator is more convenient for day-to-day -day life. If you guys were to do your pieces with this, how long do you think it would take? Oh, it can't do integrals, <laughs> so it wouldn't be that helpful. I cannot believe this was like a real thing people used for so long. <laughs>